Hello everyone. I am back with the new series of transportation engineering. I am Akshay sir, founder and coach Holistic Academy, delivering excellence for your success, Gandhi Nagar. This series includes important topics and question discussion on transportation engineering, which will be useful to GPSC. RNB, Gujarat Engineering Services, GATE, EAC, SSCJ, and even to college semester students. Syllabus in transportation engineering includes introduction, very important highway engineering, traffic engineering is also important, design of payments, highway material and testing, railway engineering. I also added reason is in last GES in August, few questions on railway engineering were also there and even little bit about introduction to airport engineering. First topic is camber, also known as cross slope or cross fall. It is the transverse slope provided to the road surface to drain off the rain water. To drain off the rain water, in the transverse direction, whatever the slope provided, that is nothing but camber. Camber is provided first. Pani ne pavement layer ma enter thata rokwa mate. To prevent the entry of the surface water into the pavement layer and the subgrade soil through pavement. Biju, varsad na pani ne pavement na surface ma thi jaldi thi jaldi hatawa mate. To remove the rain water from the pavement surface as quickly as possible and they allow the payment to dry. In the field, camber of the payment can be provided in any of the following shape. First JH that is nothing but straight line camber. Straight line camber if I show, the slope is given as 1 is to N and width of the road is W. Half of the width is nothing but W divided by Straight line camber is generally preferred for cement concrete pavement. If I will generally write it down, 10 theta is given as x percent which is equals to 1 by n. Please remember 10 theta is equals to x percent is equals to 1 by n. Just an example, if I will take an example, let us say, example camber, if I take an as camber is 2 percent of the camber which is given as which is given as 2% if I write down 2% is equals to 2 by 100 which is equals to 1 by 50 therefore 1 is to n that is n is equals to 50 here or I can write as 10 theta is equals to 1 by 50 therefore I can write as therefore theta is equals to 10 inverse 1 by 50 which is nearly equals to 1 0.14 degree very less 2 percent of the camber re, uh, resembles to 1.14 degree we'll go for the derivation as the equation of a straight line camber 10 theta is equals to 1 by n which is equal to 10 theta is equals to opposite upon adjacent opposite is nothing but y also known as what central height is known as what central height crown it is central height therefore opposite is nothing but y and adjacent is nothing but uh, w by 2 this y divided by w by 2 therefore y is equals to w divided by 2 and second is the parabolic camber parabolic camber generally used for the frequent overtaking all here i am showing x axis then you have y axis here this is the y axis and i'll be drawing the parabola here the parabola i'll be showing here please see the parabola is there this is the parabola and and the origin i'll be showing that is nothing but 0 comma 0 origin 0 comma 0 then at x is equals to 0 y is equals to 0 at x is equals to w by 2 that is half of the width of the pavement shall show you the width of the pavement is w 
then half of the width is nothing but w divided by 2 so at x is equals to w by 2 at x increases y become equals to y that is nothing but the central height y therefore you can write as nothing but what y is equals to y now if you see the equation of this parabola equation of this parabola is nothing but x square is equals to a y let's see this is equation number one note point you should remember that is central height of all the camber central height of all the camber is same please remember the concept whether it is a straight line or a parabolic or the third we'll see that is a combination of straight line parabolic center it is seen there's nothing but y equal to w divided by 2n which is i have shown in the figure on the top y equals to w divided by 2n now substituting y equal to w divided by 2n and x equals to w by 2 therefore x equals to w by 2 the whole square equals to a w by 2 and therefore w square by 4 is equals to a into w by 2 and w w cancel 2 and 4 so this is the a equals to n w by 2 now substituting the value of constant a in the main equation therefore x square is equals to n w by 2 into y therefore y is equals to 2 x square divided by n w Third type of camber is the combination that is combined straight line and parabolic. Combined shape in which a straight line is provided at the edges and middle part is curved. And we know the concept central height is all the type of camber is same. So if question come, you can use parabolic that is nothing but y equal to 2x square by n double. The question of ESE 93, even this question is there in Gupta and Gupta, a question check Gupta ma. Combined camber no question che straight line I put che sada sada combination che apanne khabar che we know that we know that equation of parabolic camber apanne khabar che equation parabolic camber ni 2x square divided by n w therefore y equal to 2x square divided by n w now we know we should know the value of n any value ip che 1 in 60 like ho che 1 in 60 given therefore n is equals to 60 and width of the road is 3.5 plus 2 plus 2 that is nothing but 7.5 meter therefore w ni value che 7.5 meter substituting the value of n and w in equation therefore y equal to 2x square divided by 60 into 7.5 therefore 1 by 30 into 7.5 therefore y equal to x square divided by 225 which is option d camber table which is very very important static question comes from here recommended value of the camber first is if you have cement concrete and high time high type bituminous for heavy rainfall 1 in 50 low is 1 in 60 if we have thin bituminous surface 1 in 40 1 in 50 water bound macadam we have or gravel pavement we have that is 1 in 33 and 1 in 40 and earthen road is 1 in 25 and 1 in 33 if you observe for heavy rainfall we have more camber whereas in the low rainfall we have less camber and as the quality of the road uh, decreases the worse quality more the camber and the higher quality lesser is the camber you'll be observing therefore you can see from this table that camber of the road depends upon two things one is nothing but what type of road it is that is the type of the pavement whatever type of the pavement and second is nothing but the rainfall intensity this also question have come into the exam few additional thing you need to remember about the camber first is camber of shoulder is 0.5 percent steeper than camber of the road the shoulder camber is 0.5 percent steeper reason is the shoulder quality is not as good as the road therefore providing more camber that is 0.5 percent steeper second is 
for cement concrete cc payment straight line camber is preferred i told you earlier also cement concrete slab that is cc payment mate generally straight line camber is used so need to remember two things camber of the shoulder is how much steeper 5% steeper than the camber of the road second is cement concrete slab uh, payment straight line camber is preferred third is parabolic or you can say some of the time elliptical uh, parabolic camber are preferred for fast moving vehicle for overtaking operation for fast moving vehicle and for the overtaking operation what type of camber is preferred parabolic camber is preferred so need to remember three things camber of the shoulder is 0.5% steeper than camber of the road for cc pavement straight line camber and for parabolic camber for the fast moving vehicle for the overtaking operation relation between the gradient and camber we know that gradient is nothing but gradient is equals to twice of camber therefore gradient is equals to 2 into camber therefore g is equals to 2c disadvantage of providing excessive camber first is transverse tilt of vehicle if you provide more camber then your vehicle will feel tilting over the surface which is nothing but a sign of discomfort you'll be feeling discomfort Second is nothing but central line tendency. Jare pan apne vadare camber provide kariye. Tiare majority of the vehicle central of the road na taraf chalwa man se. That is nothing but central line tendency. It feels like nothing but feel safer, right? They feel safer on the central line. And third is very much important if you provide more camber, excessive camber, that is cross ruts. Cross ruts is also nothing but we call it as potholes or depression. And here I have shown in the picture that is nothing but consolidation of the layers of the road, right? Consolidation of the road layers. Chalo, apne question jo hai, je last GPSE ma pucha hai chai. Question 2, the transfer slope provided to the road surface for drain of the rain water is nothing but what? It is nothing but camber, right? Camber. Question 3, slope in transverse direction of the road to drain of the rain water is also known as what? Camber, right? Question 4, the primary objective of providing camber is option A, right? Easy drainage, easy drainage. The question was asked from uh, GPS lecturer, town planning and evaluation department. Question 5th. Minimum width in meter of carriageway for two lane road with raised curb is this was asked in RNB 2016. I question static question the width of the carriageway for various classes of the road. Carriageway I have shown the width of the road in a carriageway. According to IRC, single lane road 3.75 meter. Two lane without race curb hoi chai 7. Aaj bhi option mai poo chai. But poo chu chai with race curb. Two lane with race curb. Therefore answer is nothing but what? 7.5 meter. Intermediate carriageway maate 5.5. Do subscribe to our channel. Holistic Academy by Akshay sir. Subscribe karwaanu bulta nahi. Ane jarur thi Instagram par follow karjo. Do follow at Instagram. Akshay sir holistic. For any query, you can call or WhatsApp on our number 844-777-6510. Thank you so much.